Hi, this is Mike, Family Duo TV, and I'm real excited today. Why am I excited? Why? Because of the four speaker. Today, we're installing our Sonos sound system. So we are redoing our kitchen. As you can tell, it's a complete mess right now. Uh, we did demo yesterday, making videos on all this progress as well. So if you're into that kind of thing, please hit the subscribe button. Please hit that like button. But let's get to what we're talking about. So today, we're talking about Sonos. So what we're doing in this kitchen is we are actually installing four, not one, not two, not three, but four Sonos speakers, okay? So we have our first holes cut out here. And what we wanna do in this video, kinda of go through the process of setting it up. For our kitchen, why did we decide on four? Well, I reached out to Best Buy. They had, they sent out a consultant and he basically was like, you probably wanna do like six. And I was like, if I did six, my wife would kill me. So I did like four. So that's why we decided on four. So what we decided to do is we're gonna put four speakers in each corner. So we got one right here, we got one right here, one right here, and right here. So how are we gonna wire these? I'm gonna run one wire to each speaker. So we have four total wires, they're gonna run together. And then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna bring them here, we're gonna go through this return. This is how we're gonna get it into the basement. Okay, so we're gonna run down into this return, into the basement, run them across here, and then actually they're gonna go into a cabinet in the corner next to the TV, all right? And we're gonna power this entire unit using just a Sonos amp, all right? Now I know a lot of people think and I was one of them, that this Sono system is actually super expensive. R once you really research it and see what, the, what you get for the money, it's actually a really good deal. I mean, I wish it was a little bit cheaper. And it works very well. I have it outside. We're gonna have it inside now. We're gonna have it connect to our TV. So we're gonna have a whole Sono system. We're gonna add, in the future, we're gonna add one around the pool area as well. So if you're into that as well, hit that subscribe button so you can see that video. But we're gonna get to it right now. We're gonna start running these wires. For this install, what do you need? It kind of depends. One, I bought this drill bit. It's a 72 inch bit. It's actually taller, taller than I am. And what we do is we use this to get through all of the studs, okay? So if you were doing this something in your house, you could cut out your first hole. And speaking of, what do you use to cut out the hole? We're gonna use a trusty old drywall knife. So what we're doing for this kitchen to get the layout, we're doing these first. These are the first ones and these are kind of like our anchor points. And then we're gonna work this way. For this install, we're gonna need obviously speaker wire. So I'll put a link to this down below. I actually got this on Amazon. Spoke to um, a guy that does this professionally. He told me this is the best the best stuff for, for this application, okay? There is better speaker wire out there. Don't get me wrong. If you wanna go crazy, you can. But for a pretty much normal person, not like an auto file or anything, this is this is totally fine. So this is what we're gonna use. Um, we are installing in a wall, so you have to get stuff that's rated for in wall. Okay, it even says right on the box. We're trying to get this wire into this bay, all right? So we have that, we just ran this long drill bit through all the bays, made sure we didn't hit any plumbing and came out the other side. So now we're just gonna basically run a wire up and over and we're gonna run it down there. All right, so we got our wires running here. They're popping out up here. Now we're running them through here. Now we're gonna pull them down into here. Now we're gonna continue these wires down. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to install or how to cut the hole for these. So where do you place these so they're square? We have a speaker down there, right? And we wanna put a speaker right around here, but we can't just measure off this wall, right? and figure out where this goes, all right? So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna find the center of this hole. We're gonna use, this is the center. So we're gonna place this in here, like so. Now we're gonna measure from here to the center of the hole, from the wall to the center of the hole, which is 39 and a half. And we're gonna measure from here, 39 and a half. We're gonna make a mark, which we did on the ceiling. Now we have two points that we can reference, okay? And as long as we have something going off that off of that, we know we have a straight line. So how are we gonna do that? Lasers, baby. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this laser, we're gonna line it right to the center there, and then we're gonna match the laser here. So now we know as long as we're on this line that we are aware with that speaker. Okay, now before we decide where to put this, a couple things we gotta consider. We have to consider plumbing. We also have to consider HVAC. So go up above it, try to see if there's any, if it would make sense if there's any plumbing there, if there's any HVAC there. Look, there's nothing above here. So that's why we did those first, because we have plumbing on that side of the house. So we did those first and based these off of those. Always work on your most restrictive area first and then work your way towards the least restrictive area. Kind of goes with everything in life. Where are we gonna place this? So we wanna go, I'm gonna go directly in between two studs, line it up right with the laser right in the center. Bam, here we go, and we're gonna trace.
All right, so today is the day we are finally installing the speaker. So we ran the wires about a month ago when we had this whole ceiling opened up because we are in the middle of a kitchen renovation. So let's look at these speakers uh, from Sodance. These are the Mag 6Rs, okay? And these are gonna be wired up to a Sonos amp, okay? So this is what they look like. They're pretty cool. The actual uh, middle tweeter in the middle is actually directional and the whole unit itself is directional. So you can see that you can probably, you can move them around. So it's pretty cool. Now it's nice in this case because we have a, another room with a TV in there. So I'm gonna take those speakers because these speakers are gonna be connected to that TV there. And I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna have these directing this way, okay? These, I think I'm just gonna have down, but I can mess with them and direct them wherever I want. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. I didn't even realize that. This is where you connect the wires. It's actually a real easy connection. All you do is you push this down, put your wire through and let it go and it's connected. So real simple. To attach this to the ceiling, you put it in there and then you actually have four Phillips head screws that you need to tighten. And basically it's kind of like an electrical box. So once you put it up there, you take this and you put that in there and you, that spins over. And then the more you turn it, the further this comes down. And what that does is that squeezes the drywall basically between there, okay? So that's what you're gonna see. I gotta get that wire, so I'm gonna get it. So this is what you do. Whenever there's a wire in the ceiling you can't get, what you do is you go, mm. oh, see, there it is. I'm gonna edit that. <laughs> we have a red wire and we have a black wire. And what you wanna do is you always wanna make sure that these don't have too much current running through them. So what you do is you, oh, stop it. Oh. All we need to install this. So what we do is take the red wire, push that up. Ah. So they're connected. We're gonna push this in there, push the speaker in. Then we take our handy dandy drill. And you don't wanna gug it. No gugs. Now what we do is we put on Guns N' Roses and we rock out with our all right, so this is how we're gonna power the four speakers. And this is where our Sonos comes into play. We're going to use this Sonos amp, okay? So this is how you wire it up. It comes with these funky little connectors. Um, and then you have the left, left and right speaker connection back here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the two right speakers together and wire them up, and the two left speakers together and wire them up. All right, so. Okay, so we're gonna put the two left speakers together these two, the two blacks together. All right, to the upstairs. Okay, so the next step is to add the Sonos amp to the Sonos app. That was hard to get out. So we just basically go to the, so don't download the Sonos app and hit the add product and it'll find it and it'll install. So that's what I did and now I have this amp here and I can now control it using Spotify or using just the regular app. So if I go to, for example, if I go to Spotify, I can control it through Spotify and the music should start playing. Yeah, it was turned down. I control it through my phone. This also integrates into your Alexas or smart home devices. You have Google Home, but I don't know if I turn that off before we had a copyright, but it, it'll also work with your uh, Google, smart assistants, all that stuff. So we eventually will be integrating it to the sound with the TV, okay? Um, that'll be a few months from now because we have to actually add a Sonos soundbar to that. And then this will all be on the same system. So that'll be another video um, on how to do that integration. But if you're into this Sonos thing, and you wanna know more about it, please hit the subscribe button. Be making a video on that. But I also made some other videos for the outside system that we have, and we're also expanding our outside system. So if you wanna know how to do all that, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, maybe leave me a comment or don't. All right, well, I'm Mike, Family Do ITV, and I'm out. No, Let's say it. It's working, woo!